All right, hey there students. So in this video today, double declining balance. I'm gonna to illustrate to you how to calculate a depreciation expense, accumulated depreciation using the double declining balance method. Let's take a look here. The question is asking, what is the depreciation expense at the end of year three? What is the carrying value at the end of year three? So January 1st, 2015, Timbo purchased a $200,000 10-year machine, which had a salvage value of $4,600. So what we're going to do here is I have a little table I set up, and I'll show you exactly how I calculate this stuff. And I'll even journalize it for you, too. So notice here we have year, carrying value at the beginning, depreciation rate, depreciation expense, accumulated depreciation, AD, carrying value at the end. We're going to use all of those columns, and I'll show you how. Now, the first step, though, with double declining balance, let's go ahead and get our depreciation rate. How do we do that? Well, there's a really easy way to do it. I'll show you. All you do is this. You do 100% divided, divided by the life of the machine. So in this example, it would be 100% divided by 10 years. So what is that? Well, you don't have to do the math really, it's just 10%. So equals 10%. Now, however, this is double declining. So if you're just doing declining, you would leave it at 10%. But since it's double, what do you think you do? You double it. So your rate is actually 20%. And we're gonna use that. So that rate's gonna go here. 20%. Now we can move forward. So year, well, the first year is always going to be at the very beginning, 1115. That's when he got it. Uh, carrying value at the beginning, well, we don't have to worry about that too much, but we'll write it in. It's always going to be the beginning amount, just 200,000. So we use the depreciation rate. Um, which is going to be 20%, and we figure out what it is for the first year. Well, 200,000 times 20%, 40,000. That's your depreciation expense for that first year. Accumulated depreciation, well, this is the first year, so it's the same. Nothing's accumulated yet, really. Carrying value at the end of the year. Well, all you do is you do 200,000 minus 40,000. So your carrying value at the end is gonna be 160,000. Now, beginning of next year, now your carrying value changes. You move the carrying value at the end down to the next. And there you go. So now at the beginning of 2016, your carrying value is now 160,000. Let's keep going. Depreciation rate doesn't change. 160,000 times 20%. And you get 32,000. Now your accumulated depreciation has changed. You had 40, and now you have to add 32 to it. 72,000. But this is just to keep track of the accumulated to figure out the carrying value at the end, all you do is you take your carrying value at the beginning minus your depreciation expense. That's it. So 160,000 minus 132, which should be 128,000. Notice carrying value is going to keep dropping, right? Because the more you use the machine, the less it's worth, essentially. That's what's going on. But another thing about double declining is that you depreciate the machine more in earlier years. And as time goes on, it depreciates less. Take a look. First year was 40,000. Second year is 32,000. So it's going to keep going down. Uh, they call it double declining because it's called accelerated depreciation. You depreciate it more in the earlier years. Very important point. Let's try 17. So 1, 1, 17. Move that down. Now it's 128,000. 20%. All right. So now we're at 25,600. 
add that to our accumulated. Now our accumulated here is going to be 97,600. So we've gone through 2015, gone through 2016, and we've gone through 2017. So all three years is what they're asking for now. So what's the carrying value at the end? 128,000 minus 25,600. 102, 400. There you go. So just like that, you have your carrying value at the end. And I said end of year three. Um, that's essentially what it is because you're going through all of 2017. So it is the end of year three. So beginning of uh, 2015 was 200,000. End of 2015, right, was 160. End of 2016 was 128. End of 2017 was 102, 400. And that's it. That's kind of the, your, your questions here. So I'll move down and I'll rewrite them. So they're asking here, they're asking depreciation expense end of year three. So that'll equal 25,600. And carrying value is equal to our end of year three, 102, 400. Uh, if you want me to journalize the depreciation expense, I can do that, no worries. All you do is you say uh, 12, 31, 17. That's essentially what it is. Uh, depreciation expense for that year. 25,600, and we'll credit accumulated depreciation 25,600. Easy, not too bad. So I use tables, why? Because it does make things easier. You just plug in the numbers, you figure it out, and then when they ask you questions like, hey, journalize the interest expense at the end of year three, all you do is just you just move the numbers down and plug it into your journal entry. That's it. That's why tables are awesome. So hopefully that was helpful for y'all. Uh, once again, uh, this is the depreciation chapter, long-lived assets, fixed assets, property, plants, equipment, whatever you want to call it. That's, uh, you have to know how to depreciate in this chapter. And double declining is the most complicated. So that's why I set up a table to make it easy for y'all. Hopefully that was helpful. And thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.